Suzuki no Kukuru is mind like the moon. So what does it mean to have your mind like the moon and how could we use this in, in our classes? Well, I see it from the physical martial arts sense. It's like the moon is bright and it's shining and it's lighting up everything in its uh, awareness, you know? So it's you to be more constantly aware of the things that are around you. Hello, this is James Cox with the Martial Arts Lifestyle Podcast, and we're in episode number 73 today. You know, have you ever learned something uh, in the martial arts or in life, but not truly understand it until later? I think that's common that that happens because you get some experiences as times go by and time goes by and you understand things differently because you've been there and then you'll see it and or do it differently. We do it with our martial arts techniques. You know, I, I learned my basic martial arts long ago and although I'm doing the same things, I do them a little bit different, hopefully a lot better, but I do them better because I have a deeper understanding of the mechanics and the principles and the why and all of that. Now, when I came up, we did a lot of reciting terminology and definitions. I don't see this in a, a ton of martial arts schools. We still do some of it in my schools today, but not like it was when I was coming up. You know, and I was like that old man. Back when I was a student and we walked to the karate school uphill both ways in the snow barefoot, right? But we really did a lot of reciting definitions. This is how we opened up our classes and how we ended them. And it was powerful, man. Uh, the definitions, the understanding that it gave you and the history of the martial arts in general. So a couple that come to mind that I think about and I was talking about recently in my classes is uh, this is a Japanese uh, phrase and it's uh, Tuzuki no Kukuru. Tuzuki no Kukuru is mind like the moon. So what does it mean to have your mind like the moon and how could we use this in, in our classes? Well, I see it from the physical martial martial arts sense. It's like the moon is bright and it's shining and it's lighting up everything in its uh, awareness, you know, so it's you to be more constantly aware of the things that are around you. You know, you shouldn't just see a uh, fighter's hands, uh, not their feet. You shouldn't just see what's in front of you, but what's behind you, what's uh, beside you, and are there other things, are there weapons or friends or this or that. So it's really a lot about saying be aware of your surroundings. You'll hear people talk about situational awareness. Um, it's important, man, because think of all the things that could have been prevented if we just had a little bit better awareness, if our mind was more like the moon, right? So this would help us, I mean, from driving to car wrecks to surprise attacks to, you know, you name it. So uh, it's important to me to be able to teach and have our students in a deeper understanding you know, of having the mindset. So mind like the moon, remember that, Tuzuki no Kukuru. Another one we talked a lot about in the day was Mazuna Kukuru, and this is mind like still water. You can follow a lot of Bruce Lee philosophy about water, and um, you know, I'm not claiming to be some philosopher up here, but it's important and it makes sense to me that we can have a clear, calm mind. Our mind can be focused. It's like being in the zone or finding that flow. And when your mind is like still water, then you have the ability to block out more distractions. You can literally concentrate on the task at hand and be better at what you do. You know, it's, you know look, a squirrel, right? So to be so easily distracted is to uh, not have your mind like the still water. I look at it like, like a lake or a pond that is calm and clear. There's no ripples in it. Obviously, if you throw a rock in there, you're going to have all kinds of distractions and distortions. No different from looking into a mirror. You look in a mirror, you get a good reflection of what's going on. We took a rock and threw it in the mirror. It's shattered. So how many situations in your martial arts training or in your life are you so easily distracted where you just didn't try to keep a clear mind, laser focused on what was going on. Now, how do we accomplish better Tuzuki no Kukuru and Mizuno Kukuru? Practice, uh, self-awareness, breathing, and just kind of keeping yourself in the present moment. I think when we lose what's going on now is because our thoughts and our feelings went to the past or they went to the future that we haven't even experienced yet. So there's a lot behind living in the now to be better focused. There's a lot behind just breathing to get a little bit better control of yourself and to really understand how important if the mind is controlling the body, then be there. Be there right then and focus on what is important and what's going on. 
we had so many uh, man philosophies and understandings that we would go through. You know, Kaji Kilmo was big on that, even with you know its philosophies of train and labor and strive for the purity of mind, body, and spirit. Through this fist style, one gains long life and happiness. Martial arts is a beautiful thing, and I believe uh, as a martial arts instructor and student that you can get a lot out of it when you put a lot into it. And then you just kind of continue that circle of learning and improving and teaching. Teaching is the ultimate lesson because now you're not able to give it back, but you have to articulate and understand it better, and this all helps you. So I encourage you guys to uh, look deeper into your philosophy, look deeper into your terminology, and uh, find a way to be better at all these things that we do. You may not understand it as much now, but as time goes by, I think we always get deeper understanding of the same thing. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Have a good one.